and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a combination between a haul and a PR unboxing. So basically I bought a number of things from Makeup Geek Cosmetics a couple weeks ago and meant to film a haul video but then yesterday I got a PR package from them so I'm now cramming them together into the same video. Some of the products have been around on their website for a while. Some of the products just launched. I'm very excited to try what I bought and what they sent. So let's get started. So let's start with everything I purchased first. So I bought this 10 round pan mystery kit, their grab bag, because I know they used to have round pan eyeshadows and I liked them. I had a couple and I really liked them, but recently they rebranded and changed all their eyeshadows to square pans. So I'm guessing these $10, 10 round pan grab bags were their way of just like getting rid of inventory. So I was counting my 10 round pans that they sent in this mystery grab bag and was disappointed to see that there was only nine. So I looked back at my package to see if one got lost somewhere and I have a contour pan and a blush pan that I did not order. The order form says my name, my address, my order. Maybe this is their way of making up for the one missing pan. I'm not sure, but I'm not gonna complain because I'll take a contour and a blush pan. So for the round pan shadows, I put it in this book I have that has spots for round eyeshadows. So here are the nine that they sent me. They are mostly shimmers with I think just two mattes that I can tell right now. And this is the contour and blush pans that I got as well that I was not expecting. I know I um, already scratched some of them while putting them in the magnetic palettes. I'm not gonna swatch everything just because there's a lot to get through, but I will just pick a couple of different things in a couple of different finishes to swatch for you. So here are four of the eyeshadows that I got, and some of them are foil, it feels like. Some of them are shimmer. It's kind of hard to tell. I don't think they actually list it. The orange was a matte, and I believe the other ones were all some form of shimmer. I'm also swatching the contour and the blush color that came. I was not aware I was getting these, so I already am wearing a bronzer and blush, so I'm not gonna try these on my face, but the color, you guys. I did buy one blush from them that I knew of and forgot. This is in the shade Covet, and this is, I believe, one of their like older pre-rebrand packaging because I think they only sell blushes and highlights and contour in loose pans now but I saw this color and I was like I have to have it so as you can see the blushes actually swatch really consistently which is good that means you can trust their formula just for giggles I am going to apply a little bit on a brush and blend it all on the back of my hand here for you I just wanted to see the pigmentation of this I picked up very little because I didn't want to go overboard. It's kind of there. Picking up some more. Yeah, like you can definitely tell on the brush for sure. And as I'm blending this in, there we go. Now we're getting that color. We're getting that payoff. It just blows out very beautifully, you know, like it doesn't look patchy at all to me. Next, I bought two of their new eyeshadow mini palettes. So they continue to sell their eyeshadows. Now they're square pans singly or you can get them in mini palettes which are four and then I think they carry nine palette ones either pre-assembled or like you can choose your own nine palette colors and then I think they sell these like giant like $125 palettes and as much as I wanted palettes that were $125 uh, I cannot be spending that right now so I bought two of their mini palettes which comes in the blank compacts that each hold four and then the eight shadows came separately so I'm gonna pop these in quick so these are the two four pan palettes I got this one is called mother nurture and this one I think is called wildflower I don't really own anything mossy green so this was perfect and I have pinks I have purples but nothing sort of in between so this was perfect I'm going to swatch the purpley pink magenta one for you because I am going to be wearing the green one on my eyes I think today and here are how they are swatching and as you can see the color like 
lasts all throughout the swatch which i think is usually very good for a matte it's a good sign that doesn't mean that's exactly how they're going to go on but i take it as a good sign that it's not just going to poof disappear on your eyelids so i'm going to pick up this green right here and i am going to be placing that into my crease with a smaller stiffer brush that is going on beautifully i have not dipped back into this yet and it's this pigmented Next, I'm taking a fluffy brush and going into this lightest color, and I am just dusting this over the top of that previous green color to have it be a nice blend up to my brow bone. Next, I'm going to take this darker green, and I'm going to be, oh my gosh, the pigment, plopping this right here on the outer half corner of my eye, and... I did not mean to pick up a lot. I don't feel like I did, and I love this color. Okay, because I don't think I'm going to get to this last green color, I'm gonna swatch it for you. This is how that green looks. These mattes are so good! Okay, next I've got some loose pigments for you. I bought this one, and this is the last thing in like my purchased section of the video after this i'm gonna go into what was in my pr package so this is a uh, loose pigment in the shade wildfire and this is the container it comes in and so you can dump a little bit out at a time i think so i don't know if you have to mix it with anything because it is a loose pigment but i'm just gonna try it dry for now and i just picked up a tiny little bit with my finger and this is what that looks like wow it's very shimmery the nice thing about loose pigments is when you start mixing it with different mediums like Inglot Duraline or you lay it on top of an eye primer, you can get it to be very intense. Let's transition to the PR portion of this video. So when I share these PR items, keep in mind that I was not asked to make a video or share these in any way with you. I just am super excited that they sent me things, so I wanted to share them with you anyway, even though I didn't have to. They sent four loose pigments, just like the one I showed you, and some of them are labeled pigment, some of them are labeled foil pigment. A little unclear. So I applied a little bit of like tacky base sort of eyeshadow primer onto the inside of my wrist and I'm going to go ahead and just swatch these all on top of this tacky primer because I feel like you want to see the full payoff you know okay so here they are all swatched on my arm with a tacky base or eyeshadow primer underneath uh, they are wildfire firefly utopia gargoyle and kaleidoscope so this wildfire one was the one I bought and these are the ones that they sent as you can see they are very shimmery the payoff is very good I believe this last one looks like a duochrome so I'm taking this same tacky base that I was using earlier on my arm and I am going to just tap a little bit of this onto the inner third of my eye I already did this eye, if you can tell. I'm just gonna lightly tap this on. You don't wanna be too aggressive because it will start falling off of your uh, Q-tip and fall all over your foundation, which I learned from this side. The other thing they sent in PR were their entire new collection of their color liners. I don't know if this is like a re-release or if it's like a completely new thing, but this will be the first time I've tried oh, any eyeliner from them. So this is what the eyeliner looks like close up. I believe you can just sharpen these and get, you know, the entire eyeliner out of it. Here are all nine colors swatched here. They are very pigmented. Like I did not have to run back and forth a lot at all. Then I'm gonna take the nude color and use that on my lower waterline. Oh my gosh. This is the best nude liner I own, hands down. Okay, so I just quickly finished the rest of my face. I just put some mascara on. I didn't want to like overwhelm the subtle eyeshadow with a bunch of false lashes. I hope you have enjoyed this haul PR unboxing type video. Let me know what your favorite product is or what product you are excited to try. I think I truly loved every single thing I tested today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit me a like and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye!